Hey guys, so we have longer videos this week and we're back to doing uh, deck techs, we're back to doing everything we were doing. I actually was kind of on vacation. I call it kind of vacation because like, I don't know, I can't explain it, but essentially I assume I was on vacation for a week and the pre-release, oh, so I scheduled all of those very easy to make videos. So pack opening videos are the most easy to make. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about magic the gathering online is kind of a scam and the reason I'm going to the case I'm going to use is Zach Levy or Zach no his name is Drew Levin is a guy who posted Zach Jesse is uh, they took away his account and they told him hey we don't we legally are not we legally do not have to compensate you any money for taking away your account and this was on his Facebook his Facebook has been uh, removed and because Facebook does not allow sexual predators to use Facebook, which as a policy, I generally agree with because there's a lot young, younger and minors who use Facebook. It does seem like a very good policy to have. But anyway, he can't respond to it anymore, but he made a response saying that Wizards of the Coast had sent him an email or contacted him and said that they would, they are legally not obligated to give him any compensation for shutting down his account, for taking the cards in his account, but they will give him something that they determine later. So in the Magic Online contract, if you read the contract, you're gonna notice something kind of strange about it, where it says you don't actually own any of the property. You don't own the digital cards yourself. So if Magic Online were to shut down because of a virus and not, and, and Wizards of the Coast didn't feel like it was a good idea to keep operating it, everyone would lose all their cards, all of them. Now there's issues with servers and clients which you know you can address and you can leave comments and screenshots and whatever else you want to leave here in the comments below. But the main purpose I'm trying to talk about is that is very scary. That would be like if I bought a stock from the New York Stock Exchange and then the stock exchange could take arbitrarily or just pinpoint me, target me personally and take away my stocks and not give or and not legally have to give me compensation. How scary is that? So when some a stock merges or somebody's buying the stock out, you get money. And normally you get more money than the account is worth. But that's because it's a buyout and there's a legal obligation attached to that. But in this case, you get your whole account taken away because of a tweet. I mean that tweet cost this dude so much, not just like, you know, bad PR, any of that stuff, but his own Magic Online account. All of his Magic cards are probably, now he's going to probably buy list his Magic card somewhere. Uh, it, it is very sad, but it's also very scary. That's why I'm playing Magic Duel's Origins, and I'll spend some money on that. Hopefully my Patreon gets uh, up and running, but I don't, don't trust Magic Online after what they did with Zach Jess. There's many reasons not to trust it. But after they just took away a guy's account, doesn't they do not make a statement even naming the guy. So the people obviously were asking questions to trick Jarrett, who works for Wizards of the Coast. The only response was they don't respond to specific people. Or they don't respond to cases involving specific people. And that's very scary to me, like that they can just one day Magic Online, they just take everyone's cards and that's the end of that. Now, that's not going to happen, right? But still, we are at a, we're at like the edge of something kind of interesting where Mag Magic the Gathering can take away an online account and offer no compensation for it. And that's in the contract. That's in your con That's in the contract you sign when you play Magic Online. So yeah. Uh, but at least when I play my video games and stuff, like if I buy downloadable content, I, I own that content, right? I can play the game, I can play, I mean, it's so different from a video game. It's totally different from a video game. And as a person who nerds out on video games pretty hard, I just don't like it um, at all. If I want to buy Final Fantasy downloadable content, then I just download it and saves on my hard drive on my PS4. But that's not what happens with your magic cards. If you buy a place at Tomagoyce online, next day, where's your coach could be like, oh, well, we really don't like you. We're gonna take away your account, bye. And that is extremely scary. It's scary for the, 
the power level they can have. And it's scary because of how arbitrary it feels like. So if you were accused and you went to jail for sexual harassment, rape, whatever he was, went to jail. Um, and they, I don't see how playing Magic Online, like playing on your computer against another online player, and there's no, like, I, at least Magic, if Magic Online has not changed since I last played, you can't put, like, pictures, and, like, you can't put, like, inappropriate pictures and stuff. I mean, I guess you could have, like, appropriate chat but you can always block very easily and I do that a lot and I don't know it just seems kind of weird for me like it just seems kind of weird that they would choose him uh, he went to law school was trying to become a lawyer uh, all accounts indicate he's a good dude minus you know that bad event 10 years ago I don't want to take anything away from that bad event 10 years ago because that's always going to haunt him and He's always going to be punished, whether or not you agree if he should or he should not. It's obviously right now 10 years. Um, I don't think he he could, I don't think anyone can imagine that, hey, I'm going to play an online game and they're going to take it away for something I did 10 years ago. They're going to just take the, the, all this money. So let's say he put in um, $5,000 and that's not a small amount and that's not a atypical amount for a person who wants to be a professional magic player and that's all gone now it's like poof, gone for something that he did and something and he's been playing magic online and he's been playing magic for the last 10 years and not, nothing has happened to him and then he's accumulating cards I mean it's just so weird um, I don't like it at all, and I do feel like it is needs to be addressed at some point directly. I don't like how Wizard of the Coast is not, you know, I mean, just say the guy's name. Can you say the guy's name? I mean, I don't understand why you want to do that. Bye, guys.